120 pounds. So we are on Bayshore. There are cars, there are people, and there are schools of fish. And um, we're trying to catch the fish. There's stingray, there's sharks, there's snook everywhere. So we're just casting out trying to catch them. We already caught a stingray today. And we just saw a giant one over there. But I mean, that's not really what we're going for. Like maybe a cobia if we're swimming behind it, but not I really. Um, we want like a snook or a shark, and trout are usually all over, but I don't know. It's just a low tide, so I don't know. Oh, that's oh like my a, god! Dude, that's like an 800 pound <laughs> fish. I was wrong. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Nah, it's not Nope. That is so that big. The snook got away. Oh my. All right, so we lost that big snook, but. Just gonna keep walking, look for some more, and uh, try to catch one. I think I just saw a shark out there. Cast at it. I didn't really see where it went. Turning back now, uh, walking along the wall, we're still looking for stuff, like maybe even that snook that we saw earlier. Uh, we found some drains, I mean, it's pretty good, but nothing yet. Uh, we saw a shark too, so we're gonna catch something today. Alright, so I'm not really trying to hurt it that much. I'm just pulling it over. Pulling the block. Oh no! You fuck with the pliers. They're like a mile away. Oh, come on. Alright, so we caught some stingrays and we're going back waiting for the tide to get a little higher. Um, hopefully catch some of the stuff we were seeing. I guess they just weren't hungry, they weren't biting. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, we'll probably go back tonight, break the flashlights, because yeah. the lights on iPhones are trash. The tide will probably be better then. We're not sure, we'll go check it out. So, yeah, we'll see you then. Alright, so we're back out here on Bayshore. We've been walking around, we've seen a ton of snook and the tide's way better, so we've seen fish. Uh, we actually saw a shark too, so hopefully we're gonna catch something. Right. Oh wait, oh my god, oh my god! Look at that! Just screw it. Yay! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> It's swimming away. It's all the way over there. Oh, Crib, oh, not I'll oh, be oh. late. Skirt. Hold up, little shoddy oh, bitch. Oh, yeah, you're too oh, thick. Skirt, skirt. Now, old oh, bitch, oh, yeah. looking stupid yeah. and shit. Yeah. If I skirt, pull skirt. my shoddy, then you know that she be gone. So, Trust to Cali out in Valley, smoking on the strong. Yeah. You know them niggas looking, so you know they gon' hate. Skirt, skirt. Finish tea, her a juke. Uh, been casting, I've been getting bites. So they're out here. We've seen them too. Let's put on this new lure. I got something right now, I'm not sure what it is. Got a... Oh, shoot. I can't see it yet. Oh, oh it looks like a snook. I think it is. Alright guys, so we got this pretty, pretty big trout. We're going to measure it, see if it's keepable. Uh, take a couple pictures. And yeah, that's how we, that's how we go. So we got this trout now. It's pretty nice. Let's just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, you know, we're just going to drop it a couple times, let it, like, die. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this is our trout. Oh, okay. Oh, look, look. That one, two. I thought that one, two. Oh, uh, yeah. It's yeah. cool. All right, we're going to measure it now, see if we're going to keep it. If so, then we might even do a catch and cook. So. All right, um, I'm going to take a couple more casts, but we caught that big trout. So we didn't think it was going to be, but this is a catch and cook, I guess. Um, so yeah, see if we can catch any more. Hopefully have some more dinner and that's it really. So when you're catching a fish, I mean, you got to fillet it and all that. So I'm just going to make a tutorial on all this. And uh, we got this on Bayshore. You can check out the last video for the actual catch. 
Uh, yeah, so we're gonna play it. It's actually a catch and cook. Same thing last video. And yeah, that's really it. Fish. It's gotta be nice and clean. You don't want it, like, have any. Even if it did have a disease or something, it's not good. But, I mean, when you cook it, it usually just gets burned off. So you can see the colors here is fine now. It was just grassy because we had it on the floor. So I'm gonna turn off the hose, get out my fillet knife, and we're just gonna cook it up. All right, so this is our fillet knife. Um, we're just gonna cut up the fish now. He's dead, it's just last reflexes. So we cut it. I'm gonna, it's actually brand new, it's nice. It doesn't really matter what size you have or get. But um, you're gonna wanna get the little dorsal fin right here, cut into it like this, and then back out and around up to the tail and cut it again. And then do it on both sides and then throw away the rest. Just gonna wanna bag it up because it'll smell really bad. And then you can cook it up in a fire pit or on a grill or anything, just depends on what you like. All right, so I got the knife out of the package. It actually came with a nice uh, cover. So you get it right here, come right this, and just start cutting into it. You can kind of feel the meat in which not, like the bones and stuff, see like that? You're not gonna eat that. So you come around about like here, cut down again. All right, so that was a pretty bad fillet, sorry. But now we get the other side, you do the same exact thing. I'm sure we'll be better at this in the future. All right, so we bagged up the fresh meat that we're gonna eat, and then we're about to bag up this dead fish that we cut up. So also um, this, we left the skin on. You can cook it and peel it off after, but you can skin it if you want. It might make it easier just depending on what you like. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for our video. Uh, thanks for watching. Yeah.